Welcome back, my friends. Well, what we're doing today is going to look at the friendly challenge, and I'm going to show you how to kind of use it to your utmost ability to get that three star. So you're going to see a bunch of attacks from me, some a lot of fails at the beginning trying to crack a base, and this is how you do it. I'm using bowlers level one, low level here. This is a tough base, uh, max defense base, not walls, but everything else. So. Here's the strategy. My goal is to shift and push my troops up towards the east. Uh, I was, and the reason I want to go east is, is that way I'll be able to get into the inferno towers the easiest and be able to take down uh, those infernos and get the three star. So what happens? Let's see what's going on. Now I am trying to create the funnel there. As you can tell, I lost my. Uh, wall breakers which i was a big no-no huge fail and again my queen is getting very very low she's going to go down very soon but look at this so because my wall breakers came here my bowlers actually didn't go where i wanted them to go this was attack that actually it could have worked out well but what happened was you can tell my healers are dying by the archer queen and they're not doing well at all i lost my king early on so I'm gonna scratch that attack that was a fail now here's my second attempt this is the second attempt um, you can see the army composition of course I come here trying to protect my healers the key is create the funnel and here she actually goes where I wanted her to uh, just in range now I'm uh, dropping the golem as we speak gonna create the funnel trying to get those bowlers in I do lose those wall breakers again look at that I have to break them in finally I break them in here comes the main bulk of the attack where I want them uh, and let's see what is about to happen drum spell right there but let's look at that I put the jump spell on the first inferno tower I should not have done that I should have put the jump spell on the second inferno tower and look I was early on the free spell it's all these little placements the reason I got the three star at the end honestly the troops are exactly the same it's the spell placement guys spell placement dooms it's either a doom or a success if you don't place your spells in the correct location uh, you're not gonna win it's amazing how in class you think oh if only I need more max troops I need all this and that but actually it's spells that is the secret to the three star I'm letting you know right now the secret is spell placement and spell usage so again this is me cracking this base and i know i can three start so i drop a rage there i didn't want to drop a rage early that on and look she passed uh she passed the wrong way uh, it's not where i wanted a path i knew it was doomed i just canceled that one that's not gonna work path the wrong way so let's go down let's see this is more this is what we do so here's my three star attack and I'm gonna pause it, look at this base. Of course, I know where I wanna come in. I wanna come in from the west, and this time I have a strategy. I'm gonna put the jump spell at that second inferno tower. I'm gonna wait on the freeze to make sure the there they I'll drop the freeze when it encounters the bowlers head on. And so let's see what happens. I think obviously it's gonna work out, but this is how it happens. I think it's like four attacks I did, three attacks before I got the three star. So here is uh, this coming. She's she's gonna get it's gonna get a little dangerous here. She almost goes down, but luckily, luckily just she uh, goes to the west. Now she could have gone to that uh, army camp, but luckily she didn't. I had to drop a rage on her, or she would have died. Uh, and here we go. She's going to path exactly where I want her. I drop the golem now. Going to create that funnel. I'm gonna drop a uh, Valkyrie. And use my bar, uh, my wall breaker right there. Now I'm going to bring in some more wall breakers to create the funnel, create the uh, break into the first core. And uh, soon as my queen is about to enter, I'm going to drop the rest of my bowlers in the main brunt of my attack. I'm just kind of letting my wizards do their thing before I drop the bowlers. Time is not, um, I have plenty of time. And the queen is about to do what she needs to. She's going to path or I want her the path and join up with the main force of the army. So let's see how it goes. Going to break it in, and this is the key element. The main thing is that jump spell is really going to make the difference in this attack. Dropping the bowlers, luckily they path where I want them. The king right behind them. The queen's going to enter in, and here comes the magic. There's the jump spell exactly where I want it. Go, patient on the rage. Going to use one rage right at 
uh, now. Rage here. She, they're going to take down that first Inferno Tower. And then I'm going to be very patient. Last time I dropped the freeze right here. Now I dropped the freeze right when they're encountering everything at the core. The king is just uh, went down. The queen is still up, though. And the queen is able to take down that Inferno Tower. If the queen had somehow pathed differently, it would not have gone well. The healers are on the main bulk of the bowlers, which is actually well. Uh, the bowlers are able to stay alive and take down this base. So, guys, this is how you do it. You just keep on cracking a base. You come up with a game plan. I knew what my strategy was. And honestly, as you can tell, I, the, the main difference between the fails and the successes were the spell placement, the proper jump and the proper freeze. And there you go. Perfect three star, guys. You know, I just love to bring you these attacks um, just so you have an understanding of how it works at the town hall team level and how to use friendly ch challenges to their utmost ability. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next time. Halo out.